Hello, Cancer. Welcome to Daughter of Wind Tarot. My name is Mara, and I'll be taking care of you today. Um, so, I've just been really feeling my moonology cards, and since we just had this big worm super moon, um, what was it, Monday, uh, and you are ruled by the moon, I just figured I'd start off with these instead of going to them for advice. Also, I'm doing something new. Um, one of my favorite readers, she's uh, she did this for a while, and I was like, screw it, let's see what it, what works. So I'm also, I blended my Animal Spirit and my Mystical Shaman deck. Um, so I have piano fingers. I can, I think it's like eight, I can span a full octave in two keys. I've got man hands. <laughs> So I can actually like kind of shuffle this up. Well, well, I've pre-shuffled it, but I am going to um deal it deck. It. I don't know what the word is, but yeah. Anyways, it should be fun. So, anywho, if you have any questions about viewing Daughter of Winter Row, there's going to be a link up there at the minute thirty second mark, or you can go downstairs. Also, I have uh, launched my Patreon page. I don't have any content up there, but I do have my tiers, and I will be um I'm gonna start recording content for that. Um, this weekend. So definitely check out the tiers. I'll be doing a Patreon drive, uh, which will be, I'll be offering the membership, the tier two membership, which is $22.22. $22.22. Um, I'll be offering that for $5.55 um, through the beginning of April and then it'll go to, so you'll have an opportunity to see the content for, you know, basically $5. And if you don't like it, you can just Get out of there um, in April when it goes uh, to the regular amount, okay? All right, let's get started, Cancer. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Hope you like that last read. Ooh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I love this stuff. <laughs> so we have New Moon in Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. Okay, I'm going to pull three more and then we're going to match these up. If, I don't know. We'll see if we get any more. These cards sometimes, like, it might be just a standalone card. Oh, no. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. I get that card all the time, especially when I was trying to decide whether I was going to start this channel. That card haunted me for weeks. <laughs> for weeks. <laughs> all right. Oh. We got one more. Perfect. And have faith in your dreams is such a pretty card. They're all really beautiful, but I just love the lavender highlights in that. All right. Sounds good. And then we're going to get six of these. And then um, I, I thought I had a way. Yeah, there we go. We're just going to see what flies out of the deck and just roll with it. I was getting bored. Well, first of all, I was drawn. I think I yelled at my first three Zodiacs this week. Um, just riffing off a couple of the mystical Shaman decks. And um, figured I wanted to have a little more structure. Ah, come on. All right. This is actually really funny if you guys want to watch. Right, we're we're going to do this. We're going to split it up. There we go. There we go. We'll split it up. I'm just being ridiculous. I'm already three. Ooh, koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. Whoa. And be fearless and bold with badger spirit. Wow. Okay, if I don't get anything out of here, I'll switch to this right here. Ooh, the staff. These are all made by the same um, person. Oh my gosh. I like this card. Ooh, you're getting a lot of animal spirit. Let's see here. But I'm glad these decks are wanting to work together. My shaman deck was like super stiff for a long time. It just stuck, but I think it was more me. Like, it's just a really intense deck, so I was afraid of working it, and maybe it was afraid of working with me as well, but now it's talking to me a lot more. All right. Oh. One, two, three, one more. We're just going to cut this. Okay. We'll take that there. Let's see if we get anything else, and then we'll roll with it now that we're five minutes in. Thanks for hanging with me. 
Okay, that might, I think we're gonna call that a day. All right, so next out we had Koala Spirit, Badger Spirit, the Staff, Otter Spirit, Spider, Giraffe, and the Witness, which I might read off. Okay, so first off, you and your loved ones are safe with the new moon and cancer. You know, cancers are all about home and hearth and, you know, more than anything, they care about their loved ones and home, right? Um, but making sure that the people, I mean, I, a lot of the cancers I know are super, super quiet or super to themselves. They, they are the crab shell. Um, but the deepest, probably one of the deepest loving, in fact, they're actually known in the Zodiac as kind of like the pushovers for love. Like they just keep coming back for more and more and more and hoarding <laughs> and hoarding. No tea, no shade. <laughs> just little things that I pick up, but it's, you know, they want to keep the things that they love to them um, safe. And so I think cancer, you know, with show the world, the real you is yes, you are here and yes, um, you you do have that tendency to only show the people around you the real you, but I think here it's just saying that you need to step out and have faith in your dreams, right? Have faith to show people the real you and that you need to open up and come out of your crab shit a little. I think the crab shell a little. I think sometimes, um, you know, especially me, you know, I, I'm very bubbly and all this other stuff, but I'm a basically a big introvert. I can go days, months without, I lived in a cabin in the woods, in the middle of the woods by myself on five acres of land on a 500, because like it was perfectly happy. Um, I don't need people to survive. I'm very happy. And, and I think here it's just saying that sometimes, you know, coming out of our shells and being, even if it's in a medium like this, you know, I don't know if you're trying to start a new business or, um, just have a wider network, you know, wider network of friends doesn't always mean quality, but I think here, um, it's just venturing out and doing the things that, you know, perhaps that you're a little nervous about going out and, um, being who you are out in the world. And here it's, you know, Koala Spirit, the blueprint, Koala has the blueprint, um, it says spirit has a plan, you know, spirit has a plan for your life. Spirit wants you to go out there and sure show that nurturing part of you to others and not just to the people that, um, you love. Sometimes we feel very safe inside of the confines of our home, our, you know, our little bubble. But, you know, I've also learned that, you know, our spiritual gifts, because we were given them to the, or given, they were given to us by the divine um, we can't hoard those gifts as well and only, you know, um, stay in that nucleus type of family environment. We are meant to um, put those gifts out on display and to share them with others and to show people how to love the way a cancer does, right? You know, so it's asking you to be fearless and bold. And I think these two, um, you know, these two cards, uh, the staff is talking about, you know, standing right there and it's so funny um God, i love santra i know i talk about her every video but she's like she always sees this um badger and i totally do too it's like be fearless and be bold but it's like it's got a daisy in your hair right by the way cancers are just some i've got a very very sweet cancer friend of mine and she's just the epitome of a cancer it took forever to get to know her but when i did she's just she's a badass oh, bad. Like, she's the shit. She really is. And she's got this stare on her. You know, she protects her own. And, you know, here I feel that it's saying that, yes, you 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 have that staff and you've got that that um, that um righteous indignation that I'm going to take care of my, my own, right, and keep my loved ones safe at home. But you need to bring that out. You need to step that out and be fearless and bold and bring that out to the world and say, here, I am here with a daisy in my hair, but I am here, right? I am here to stay and I'm going to show people how to love. And, you know, one of my favorite cards in the deck, it's actually the first card that came out for me when I, I bought this deck was You Are Not Alone. And for me, like, that was really a big deal because you know, when people, before I even got into like spirituality or anything like that, people were like, oh, you know, what's your animal totem? And I always said otter, um, cause I just loved otters. I was like, well, they're wet and playful. And like, even we could take that in a totally different way. Um, but I love the water. Um, 
even though I have like no water signs, I think I have a little scorpion in me, but, um, I just, I've always been a water, um, a water baby, which is another reason why I got like hooked on water baby. Cause it's like, Oh my God, I'm a water baby too. And then I got into tarot. She's like the first video I saw that's neither here nor there. Um, so for, to, for this card to come out and it's so beautiful. Look at that. Um, to come out as my first card, my first tarot deck, I just thought that was kind of a sign for me. But I think, you know, Spirit is saying that even though you're out there and maybe feeling a little solitary when you're outside of the confines of your home, is that maybe putting yourself out there, even though it's boldless and fearless, fearlessly, is that you are not alone, regardless of whether you feel alone in the world, but Spirit has your back, right? I don't know where the eagle spirit is. <laughs> spirit has your back and wants you to show other people. You see them, the two of them, how they're all snuggled up on each other. You got one otter and the other one's got its nose right underneath there. And But they've got all this adornment here, right, in the feathers. And it's saying show people. So a lot of people, you know, they don't know how to love. They don't know how to show how to nurture, like you are the most nurturing, you're the moon, hello, attuned to the moon, you are the damn moon, and so you have, you know, the moon is, the mother is, you know, is ruled by the moon, and so, you know, we're supposed to lead by example, those with spiritual gifts, and those that are, you know, ascending and awaking, and all, you getting woke, whatever it is that you want to call it, um, not only are we supposed to show ourselves self-love, but we're also supposed to show others, and a lot of people don't know how, I didn't know you know, I thought I'd say, tell people that I love them, but I didn't, and I showed people how I love them through my cooking, but that's really the only way I could other than like being, you know, but t talking about it here, I'm showing you love. I'm showing you love because I'm giving you a piece of me. I'm giving you some vulnerability. I'm giving you a piece of, you know, showing, sharing a piece of myself to you. Um, and it was very important that I brought that in here. You know, I understand why a lot of tarot readers don't want to show their face. Cause I mean, you flub up, I mean, you gotta do your makeup or you, you don't have to, but I mean, you're just on display all the time. Um, but like even here, like these paintings are my great aunts. Like I'm giving you a piece of me and like my style and how I am and how I dress. It's all just showing you a little bit, gives you a little bit of background on who I am versus just the voice of my hands because I want you to see my expressions and see my reactions and see how much I actually care about you and why I'm doing this. Is this for me? I'm like, this is terrifying. Is it for me? But it's a calling. And I knew if I didn't do this, you know, life would just probably keep on spiraling out. Um, well, I say spiraling out, but spiraling out in a way of like not being totally fulfilled and just going from job to job and different, you know, um, you know, I've been in finance and restaurant business and, you know, aviation, all this stuff. And it just never was, um, fulfilling, you know? And so that's, you know, it's all about, you know, self-love is finding the things that we do. And I know it's so difficult. Like it was just so difficult for me to comprehend, like I would do that if nobody paid me for it. And maybe that's being a social influencer. I'm not just saying, you know, go and be in a corner and be a recluse like I am and, you know, talk to yourself in the, the camera or anything like that. But what would you do if you, if you, what would you do if you couldn't get paid for it? If somebody said you could do this for the rest of your life and you'll be perfectly fine, but you won't get a paycheck, what would you do now? How can you figure out to make a paycheck out of doing that? Because if you're doing something and it is effortless and you are fearless and you are bold and you're able to show up and wake up in the morning and spring up in the morning every day, you know, about it, then find your passion, I guess. And, oh, and then we go to spider spirit that's saying, make your dreams real. This is a manifest uh, manifestation card of the spider going around and weaving, weaving its web, you know, weaving its web and showing people who it is, but doing the work, doing what, you know, finding the one thing that makes you, you, and being spectacular at it and then basically backwards planning right finding the goal and working yourself bigger working yourself backwards and it's so funny because here we have spider spirit and we have giraffe spirit spider is like the teeny tiniest thing and it's saying you know weave your magic right and do the things that make you happy but also see the big picture that you want to share your gifts with others and that you're going to be helping others and when we give like when I get in a funk 
I do my gratitude list, you know, how, and, and that's a very big manifestation tool actually is um, going through like the things that you're grateful for and the things that you actually do have and concentrating on those. And when I say that, like when I get the feeling of like, oh my gosh, you know, two months ago I was on somebody's couch and here, even though I'm like kind of in flux here, I ha I'm not on a couch, you know, the, the, the toilet hasn't run over on New Year's Eve and I'm not sludging through like pee water of my friend's place. You know what I mean? I'm so grateful for it. And I just get this feeling of gratitude. And I know that, you know, whatever I'm, I'm wanting in that moment and I get that feeling of just pure contentment and thankfulness, that's how you manifest. Those are the tools. So when people are like, oh, you just think it and you visualize it and this, that, and the other. No, the key to manifestation is gratification and being happy with where you are and knowing that whatever you want, acting as if, knowing that it will come to you in that space if you think it and believe it and start acting as if you are that. So what I'm saying, yeah, it's it's amazing, you know, that I want to go forward and have my own place or whatever it is that's out there for me. Right now, I am so grateful for where what I am and what I'm doing now. And as I'm talking to you, so I'm like, man, when's the last time I did it? Maybe a couple of days ago, but like, I just need to keep that as a, a daily practice because life will shift and manifest in the craziest, craziest ways. And a lot of times it ha can happen through nature. And here we have the witness. And this is actually the last um, card in the deck of the Sh Mystical Shaman deck. So I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to read it to you because I've only read it once, but I'm just going to actually just look at this card. Yeah, I have the like all seeing eye here on the palm. Oh, wow. Yeah, you see that? I don't know if you can, yeah, with the glare and it's on the palm of his hand and then he's also got all this here with his mind's eye and then his actual eye. So I guess there's actually like five eyeballs on that card. Let's see here, number 64. I'm like, what is flying all over the place? Dog hair, Dallas's hair. Okay, and it did come up upright, so I'm going to uh, read the invitation versus the, uh, the medicine. So this is the witness from the Mystical Shaman deck. The witness observes without engaging in any action. By cultivating inner stillness, we are able to assess any situation from a higher perspective and make better decisions. When we can present for someone else's difficulties in stillness, with stillness, then we are able to truly hear them and give better advice. And doesn't that sound like showing somebody love is holding space? Sometimes we can be so still that we are a mirror for the other. Then through our presence, they receive their own answers. The invitation of this card, Cancer, the witness that has been by your side all along is now ready to become your ally. You're never alone, right? You thought you were the doer, but today you discover that things happen when you get out of the way. Witness creation unfolding before you. Change reality by finding stillness and letting your true intent reveal itself. And you know, that speaks to me saying, you know, finding stillness. So yes, finding stillness, making your dreams real, going within, finding out really what you want and putting it out there, but co-creating with spirit and knowing that spirit's going to bring it in, right? Let your true intent reveal itself. That's the subconscious. That's our inner dreams and thoughts and beings let that come up to the surface and then work with it and then have an inner dialogue you know with your spirit team or your god or universe or whatever it is that you call it and make your dreams real i love it so much have faith in your dreams <laughs> all right cancer thank you for spending this time with me i can't wait to see you next time blessings and um yeah i think that's it check out my patreon okay um i'll be rolling um uh, it'll all be different content. I'm not going to do extended. I just like this time with you and I'm just trying to do something a little different than the regular tarot reads, but um, I'll have be having full um, tarot reads on the, the Patreon. So anyways, all right, we'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>